hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video is about the strawberry runners kung ano yung gagawin natin um ikikip ba natin sila or dapat ba natin silang tanggalin so sabi nila kung ang halaman uh, etong strawberry plants mo ay namunga na or namumulaklak and then nag ano pa siya nag produce pa siya ng runners sabi nila ipinch mo daw yung runners para yung mother plant ay makapag concentrate sa um, bulaklak at yung pagpuproduce ng prutas at hindi na ma-divide yung energy niya sa pagpuproduce pa ng baby plant this plant guys is my um, giant colossus strawberry plants na I planted this two months ago and as you can see meron na siyang uh, prutas and maram marami rin siyang mga runners na tumutubo so as I want this plant to concentrate on producing this uh, fruit at dahil ito nga yung uh, you know, giant um, strawberry so I really want to know kung ano talaga at gaano kalaki yung mapuproduce niya so kaya ang gagawin ko ay I want this plant to concentrate sa prutas so I'm going to cut off itong um, runners para makapag concentrate nga yung halaman this particular plant, um, dalawa siya na magkahiwalay. So, on this left-hand side, ito yung may uh, prutas at meron ding uh, dalawang runners. So, tatanggalin ko na ito kasi nga, um, you know, I want to keep the plants na concentrate sa prutas lang. And so, when you cut off the runners, yun lang, make it close to the crown. At itong nasa right hand side, yan yung walang prutas so, and meron din siyang runners na so I'm just gonna leave this um, alone. And also my goal this year is to produce more plants out of this um, giant um, closest variety. Kaya yung mga walang prutas talaga, I'm gonna let the runners go wild magproduce sila na magproduce if they want you know so i'm just gonna let them let them be and let the nature do its work and i would say as well kapag baguhan ka pa lang at first time mong magkaroon ng strawberry plants at nakita mo na merong bulaklak you know nagprutas na siya and then nag ano pa siya nagproduce pa siya ng runners you know you you feel so proud at uh, may excite ka na you know na madadagdagan yung collection mo ng uh, you know yung halaman mo kaya for me at that time hinayaan ko lang yung aking uh, plants na na you know do what it wants to do and then on the second year um pagkatapos nung mabulaklak at magbunga dun din na uh, nags ang sipag magproduce ng runners nung mga strawberry plants ko so yun ang nakakatuwa kasi nakapag-concentrate ang halaman sa runners so, what I'm trying to say here is kung halimbawa gusto nyo rin magdagdag at magparami ng strawberry plants, so pwede nyo intayin na matapos nga yung production ng butas and then once na, 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 na nag-produce siya ng mga runners, dun hayaan mo na siyang magparami ng runners at at least kapag uh, bago na siya mag-spring uli kung nandito kayo sa you know sa countries na merong you know for different seasons and then before mag-spring at least nakapahinga na yung mother plant kasi na-separate mo na yung runners mo before mag-winter so both your mother plant and your runners or yung baby plants mo ready na sila for the spring so these guys are my um, original and my first ever strawberry plants and marami na akong na you know na nakuhang halaman a lot of runners from them and kaya this year I'm gonna let this um, plants to concentrate on the fruit at ikakat of ko na tong mga runners at yung runners na nakuha ko from this plant last year sila naman yung magiging mother plant ko this year so I'd say na best to separate your um, you know old and new batch of plants para alam mo kung alin yung 
uh, yung original na mother plant and then yung mga runners mo. Kasi sabi nila, 3 years lang yung um, parang lifespan o yun talaga magpo-produce ng better quality ng prutas. So, at least you know kung alin yung talaga yung old batch. So, these are just my, um, you know, preference and um, I've... Um, use this way based on my experience so it's up to you guys if you want to do the same and follow it and i hope it will also works for you so um, if you have um, uh, maybe other ways that you'd like to share you can comment down below and i would give it a go in the future so that's it guys and I hope na nakatulong itong video na ito and if you think this is a good video and you know you learn something from it please don't forget to click the like button and share this with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thanks very much. I hope to see you next time. Okay bye bye.